I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Jay Woods, designated market maker for IMC. But before we begin, quick note to viewers that this is for informational purposes only, and we are not providing any recommendations or advice. Jay, great to have you back. It's week number two of working from home. How yes. has this week gone? Yeah, week number two uh, in the books, uh, successful. Uh, we had a couple interesting uh, situations, you know, on the floor. Some some good things. Uh, you know, today we welcomed uh, Otis and Carrier to the family. Um, and I, in fact, I know you did an interview with Judy Marks, the CEO of Otis. So, you know, I, if people want to learn more about that, I highly recommend they click on that. But um, <laughs> from a procedural point of view, uh, we knew there would be a surge in volume, a lot of activity in the names. And um, everything ran smoothly. Otis did 13 million shares, Carrier over 32 million, and then Raytheon uh, over 10 million. So it was a busy day there. And then I know there was a secondary earlier uh, on the floor in another name, Carnival Cruise Line. And I was told that went extremely well, too, from an exchange point of view. So, uh, you know, a couple big events, but they were handled well with our, our team in particular, with the Otis and uh, the Carrier. And uh, from the NYC point of view, things have gone smoothly. So we're happy from that regard. Still missing the, the personal touch. In fact, you know, today, missing Otis and Carrier coming to ring that bell and uh, making it a special event for them. But uh, I know once we get back to the floor, the exchange and their events team will, will do something for them. So we look forward to that. Yes, 100 percent. Absolutely there. And um, now tell me about what went on in the market this week. Yeah, it was it was a little quieter, and it's weird to say that the the volume and the volatility went down. The volatility went down to an average of two to three percent moves in the S and P five hundred this week, which sounds crazy if we talked about this months ago. But uh, from from an average of five to seven percent days, it, it was manageable. So we were in a more of a trading range. Uh, we did close down for the week, so we're down three of the last four weeks, but. Uh, if you're looking for silver linings, like I, I tend to try, uh, we did not breach that March 23rd low. Uh, while we were down, we were down slightly, uh, and it feels as if there's a bottoming process trying to to evolve. Uh, you know, I know people would love to see that V-shaped rally where you have the big sell-off and then the quick recovery, and we could get that quick recovery. I mean. Uh, vaccine comes out tomorrow and cures this thing, then watch out. But, uh, you know, realistically right now, we're, we're taking it day by day, uh, hour by hour. And uh, things are going all right, not ideally. But uh, you know, the market was selective in where it really sold off. Uh, the weakness was in stocks and sectors that really are affected the hardest by the virus. Uh, the banks and the retail, the retail stores where you have to physically walk in, they do their business that way. Uh, utilities and REITs, people afraid with the first of the month, uh, if they're going to get those bills paid on time. So uh, a lot of this was kind of expected and it was rational. Uh, there was no panic to any of the sell offs. So a little constructive. We, we took a breather and uh, we'll see what next week brings. Exactly. So next week, speaking of that, what can we look forward to next week? Is there anything that, you know, any any numbers you're looking at, any key data that's coming out, anything like that? Yeah, well, it goes back to are virus numbers more important than economic numbers? And right now, sadly, the answer is is virus numbers. Uh, you know, if you you go on Twitter or you, you you talk to you watch CNBC and the financial news, you see more charts uh, regarding the virus than individual stock charts. So people have their eye on the peak when it's going to happen. Uh, countries like Italy and Spain, who are a little ahead of the curve, uh, and then individual states. Uh, here in, in the New York, New Jersey area, we're, we're ahead of some of these other areas. Uh, do we peak out? Do we see a flattening of the curve? That will be hopefully a positive to the markets. Um, the other thing we watch are small businesses, uh, how this relief and this aid package is going to them and what kind of impact it will have on them. But o overall, uh, we are focused virus numbers. And then as they start to normalize and things slowly return back to normal, the, the possible return back to work and uh, putting strategies in place there uh, and trying to come up with the new normal. So th there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, but uh, once again, it's all about this virus. Yes, it is indeed. All right. Well, Jay Woods, it's always great to talk with you and look forward to catching up with you next week. 
Yeah, and I hope you and all the viewers are staying safe. And, uh, you know, we could always use some binge-watching suggestions, too, because now we're done with uh, Ozark and Tiger King. So if anyone wants to feel free to add in the comments, we would welcome that. But have a great weekend, and always good talking to you. Thanks, Jay. Thanks.